Seems complacent, and I'm going places And I need you with chasing for this conversation Please don't make me chase you, know that I've been waiting The land you lease upon my heart been closed and vacant Perhaps I did some things, you know that much is true So twisted in me thinking I get close to you So now I'm sitting here beside myself Trying to savage what if the love we have left Let's be straight up, both need love can't keep up with back and forth But I know you don't let me in often But I'm not trying to be another option I want more than Your body can provide Don't need nothing I just want your time Your time, your time, your time Your time, your time You got love, I can see it in your eyes What's inside that? Waiting on your own terms, finding out that self love is infected, indoctrinated. What are you so? Look at you glow. Know the feeling, wanna do this on your own. This space is what you need. I'ma bring you Venus, sowing all the seeds. So, baby girl, it's season. Relationship on casual, sex feel transactional. Pillow talk on middle model. Let's be straight up, both need love Can't keep up with back and forth And I know you don't let me in often But I'm not trying to be another option I want more than Your body can provide to me Don't need nothing I just want your time Your time, your time, your time Your time, your time, your time You got love, I can see it in your eyes Inside that Fifth pretty little mind. mind Your mind, your mind, your mind Your mind, your mind, your mind Your mind, oh I gotta know, say I gotta know You know that I just want your time Just wanted your time, baby, my yeah. You didn't have to snap at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to snap at the end. <laughs> that was that was that was my favorite. Yo, welcome back to Soda Sessions. I'm Boy Soda. I'm very happy to be here today with an amazing artist and creative. I present to you Billy Marie. Everyone clap please. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I am generally good. How are you? I'm good. Like it's um, it's nice that you're here because this is like the first time we've met. Yeah. But I've been like such a fan of your music you. for like such a long time, especially being like someone that makes R&B in Australia and the glamour of that is like, I feel like there's people that do R&B and there's people that are R&B and like you just, that shit's just in your blood. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Ah, that's not heavy. I feel mm. you. I'm very heavy on freestyling. Mm. Um, like, so I work with my engineer and he'll just play the production and I, like you could leave me in there all day. If you don't stop me, like I'll go all day. You mm. know what I mean? And then I will actually spend the hours of picking apart what, what we like, what we don't like. Can you hear anything? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Commitment, she's complacent, and I'm going places. So I need you with Jason for this conversation. Please don't make me chase you, know that I've been waiting. Prior to like going through the whole freestyling process, um, I used to write so much every day, like journals just full of writing. What's funny is how I started to get into music. I think I was about 14. I started exchanging poetry with one of my closest friends. Mm. And um, poetry pen pal? You know what I mean? That's it was so crazy. cool. Like, that's how I started, just poetry, creative writing, writing stories, and then uh, a couple years passed and I had a friend, um, Kwame actually, that boy Kwame, mm. um, he started sending me beats and stuff, and I was like, oh, this is freaking cool, man. Yeah. Um, and I pulled up some of my old like poems, and I was like, can I ch turn this into a song? <laughs> <That's> crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then it just, um, yeah, I kind of really enjoyed it from then on. Something that always catches me 
weirdly enough, is like the vocal layering, like the textures. <sighs> like, <laughs> I just love textures. And then after that, I'm like, okay, what are they saying? I've got to say, I was so like, I was like a little kid with candy when you sent your vocals, like yeah. vocal stems for this, because you had so much like, like it, it's so much intention, but like mm. so much um, like color in the, yeah. the the layers that you decided to add. Thank you. Even just a little like, like before yeah. you come in, I'm like, that's so <laughs> R&B, bro. Like she's so good. Oh like, my goodness, thank you. Good. Yeah. Okay. I love a lot of the songs you've done, but Melrose. It stands out to you. <laughs> yeah, for me, um, with Melrose, I think that was like, yeah, definitely the first step in the direction of like, you know, this is where I want to head rather than having people in my ear being like, no, you, maybe you should try and be sexier or or do more upbeat stuff <laughs> or yeah, try a different genre. You know, you have the voice for it and it's like, man, you, why? Like, yeah. you know, you, this, you're you not getting it kind of thing. Um, mm. So I kind of just have to take that stance for myself and believe in my own vision and be like, all right, well, this is kind of, testing the waters with this sound. Um, mm. Do you think that's been a process to kind of get to that stage of having a backbone in that way? Oh, or? 100%, dude, mm. 100%. There have been so many situations that I've been in, um, well, I'm 23 now, but a bit younger, like 18, 19, where I feel like I just didn't have that self-confidence, self-assurance of being like, knowing something's wrong mm. and not speaking up about it and standing mm. up for yourself. And because of that, getting into like more crazy situations are like this all could have been avoided I if I just it? spoke up mm. you know um, so definitely more than one occasion something yeah. like that happening and you know you you learn as you go along you just like I'll to be I, a woman in the, you in know, the music like, industry <laughs> man just open your mouth and say your shit yeah you know like don't be scared mm. well, what's gonna happen oh cancel you why yeah who, where is the cancel committee? What is this? You know? Yeah, like who's, who's coming knocking at my door? You know what I mean? Sure. That's what you want. I'm, I'm king, man. Whoever's going to get the best product, let's go. That is exactly. Do you kind of separate you, Billy Marie as a person and Billy Marie as an artist? Not really. Mm. And I think that's why I stuck to my real name and mm. why I don't do anything that's particularly gimmicky or anything mm. because it's like, I'm just this person who loves music and like mm. I'm a very real person you know I have things that I do outside of music like just like anyone like if I was ever to reach a level of success where people can pick me out on a street and whatnot I never want someone to be like oh my god that's I want someone to be like yo how are you I'm like yo you know what I mean mm. um because I'm just all about humanizing the experience you know like mm. I feel like when you start to separate your identities, like, you create problems for yourself. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I have to act this particular way and play into this character and whatnot. But that's just my personal opinion for me. I feel more mm. comfortable as Billy Marie. Like, that's who I am. We were talking before and you were like, you are like, damn, bro, like, I get, <laughs> I feel like I get, like, overlooked for things as, like, an R&B artist. And oh, yeah. for me, you're like, you're, you know, creme de la creme of... <laughs> Of R&B and appreciate that. I really do appreciate. What's that. like, what's that like for you in this in this climate? Because I, you know, um, I know what it's like. Yeah, I, you know, I feel like pursuing music in general in this climate is a very difficult feat. It's more so of like there not really being a uh, infrastructure in place for R&B within mm. this country. Um, and in terms of like getting overlooked for opportunities and whatnot, like if anything, bro, that just makes me want to go harder. Mm. Like it inspires me to just do more. Like, all right, bet you thought, you thought, mm. hold on. You got love, I can see it in your eyes. Is that that pretty little mind? You're an amazing example of what people mean when they say good art will always rise. Mm. And it's a, it's a pleasure to have you here and yeah <laughs> thanks for coming through thanks for letting me talk some shit you know? um yeah let's get our let's get our r&b on yeah amazing let's get our r&b on <laughs> please don't make me chase you know that i've been waiting the land you lease upon my heart been closing vacant perhaps i did some things you know that much is true so twisted in me thinking i get close to you so now i'm sitting here beside myself trying to savage what it